<laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Here's the Scenario. Welcome back to everybody who's been listening to us, who's been with us the entire time. The boys, when we were on Zoom or Skype back in the pandemic. Skype. What was it? Zoom? Zoom. We never tried Skype. Never. Damn. Yeah. Uh, if, you're, if you're new to the program, welcome. Thank you. What's the name of it? Uh, Zoom. <laughs> Here's the scenario. Yeah, there you go. Um, this is what the pod's about. If you're like, what's going on? What are these guys? I heard them on Bobby's pod. Wanted to come over, maybe add some hate into their YouTubes. <laughs> Can you imagine if somebody just was, like, who's been listening to YKWD for, I don't know, seven years, and then is just like, you know what? This is the time I'll give them a shot. Yeah. Well, isn't that funny? Like, there's always somebody new to somebody. Yeah. Like, and, and some people don't even know they're new to an established thing. So people will be like, do you know this guy, Bill Burr? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I've heard of him. Yeah, mom, I know. <laughs> uh, what we do on this podcast is we have, uh, we're silly gooses. We, we have fun. We laugh. We joke around. Maybe throw a little couple of jabs to the other person. You know, really ruffle each other's feathers. But we also answer questions questions <laughs> <laughs> yeah in the middle of our fist fight there are some solutions <laughs> so if you want to send us a question like a uh mary f kill or would you rather what would you do in this situation any kind of stuff like that we give priority to our patreon members patreon.com slash scenario pod baby check it out we got a ton of behind the scenes stuff i got a blog thing vlog yeah, I got a vlog blog. Come on, coming on. That's my like mom's keep saying Nintendo yeah. kind of thing. Imagine Brendan's Brendan's vlog blog is just a <laughs> scroll of his writing. It's just WordPress. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a video of his fucking chicken scratch. <laughs> his mission <Aww>. statement. <laughs> what? He cursed. Oh, uh, whatever. Where do we get to? Uh, we got to one <laughs> second. <laughs> and I'm Mike Feeney. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm Brendan Staglo <laughs> being joined with me as always. Mike Cannon. So I already said mine and Mike Feeney. Yeah. Anyway, if you want to uh, have priority for the uh, questions, just hit up patreoncom slash scenario pod. We change the prices. Everything is cheaper. Now you can do it th for as little as $3, three both. You can just send us questions and stuff. And uh, we'll all right, wait. enough with the plugs. Let's get to the show. Sure. Sure. Uh oh, <laughs> Here, here's my response cooking up <laughs> we're the, waiting here's turning yeah. on this one we're waiting for the oven to ding <laughs> <laughs> and it will you're a ding <laughs> yes i'm so far away from you guys all right first question comes from lady silver hey lady lady silver um if you were wealthy beyond your wildest dreams what E eccentricities would you indulge in bonus points for brendan if he can spell eccentricities is that what i it, think i don't even think i'm saying eccentricities i mean if you can't if you can't spell it i mean while you're reading i don't know it, if i'm you saying it right like eccentric so eastern is uh all right take your take your eyes away look at me oh there's spell it. no way spell it can you say the word Eccentr ec eccentricity so eccentricities ecc okay i always get the first three ecc E N S T R I E S. No. Eccentricities. No, weren't you just looking at it? Dude, I'm fucking dix, dix, dyslexic. <laughs> <laughs> you suck dick from the ball back, <laughs> from the ball to the front. I was funny. I, Brennan posted a very funny tweet the other day, and then he put it on Twitter, and I think it did okay. And then he put it on his Instagram, and it was like, it really was one of those things where I'm like, man. It's, I know what's going to happen when I reach out to you, but I'm happy you do that for your own good, nah, but it feels I, very yeah. like for your own good. Well, what's like, going to happen? I mean, he's I'm pinching gonna, your uh, nose and spooning you some tussin. Yeah. You're going to see me <laughs> disappointed in myself and it's going to be a it's slightly just, defensive. And no, that's angry. not the issue is, is the issue isn't that you're, you're disappointed in yourself. It's that you get mad at the uh, messenger. 
yeah, I would fucking 300 kick you into a hole if I could. Yeah. <laughs> no, I like for it. pointing out what you did wrong. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, Saya, it's imagine. <laughs> you spelled it image. I, I speak <laughs> I speak fluent Brendan, so what I'm like, oh, I see where he was going yeah. with this if everything yeah. was right. He was just missing two letters. It may be defensive, but it has nothing to do with you. So if you can just take that and go... He just hates himself. Sure. Just take that. Just go. He hates in this moment. But I did it with a nice. He hates. I did it with let's... a nice Oreo sandwich, though, right? Yeah. Like, great had... fit. Yes. Very Oreo funny. Sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> hey, it's also imagine. But great job. I, I just. I will. Uh, that's, that's the way. Great way that's to do it. Yeah. 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 It's wrapping a pill in cheese. That's yeah. How you yeah. It Brendan. And Brendan <laughs> loves him some cheese. <laughs> he loves it. Uh, but uh, I love. I love how Brendan just continues to no matter what his behavior is your responsibility. So it's like how you need to take it. You could take it like I'm I'm mad at myself or you could, you know, just whatever. I could see how me being truthful to myself could be annoying. You know what I mean? Because I'm a fucking open book. I wear my feelings on my dick. You know what I mean? So being the closest people in that uh, uh, to your dick, uh, to my dick, yeah. I could see it being like uh, there's a lot of shrapnel with this Tasmanian yeah. devil. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, you're I, more of a you're more of a pressure cooker, really, kind of a thing. <laughs> but it, yeah. you're really shooting ball bearings out yeah. left and right. Yeah, you guys are the SWAT team moving. <laughs> yeah, I have, a, I have a screw in my knee because of you. <laughs> um, so let's get to the question, which was, uh, if you were wealthy beyond your wildest dreams, what eccentricities would you indulge in? Eccentricities. Mm. I would well, love. Like, I, I would love to like wipe my ass with a forever cloth and throw it out like some sort of mink. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like some, something actually that would it, almost like the, what is that thing? The sham wow, like a wet sham wow to initially, and then to kind of fluff it dry with some sort of fur. <laughs> I, oh yeah. That's like, be great. $22. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Eat shit. If you were rich beyond your wildest <laughs> dreams, he's like, if I could just put 22 aside, yeah, I could get $22 myself. Dollars, I could get double ply toilet paper. That'd be sick. <laughs> 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 I've, been, for you. I've been stealing from high schools. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I would do? Um, I would uh, crash my car a lot. I would like bump oh? into people. Ghost ride it into a fucking I, lake. I don't want to hurt myself or anyone, but I would do things where if you fucked with me on the road, I would be like, I don't care. Bam. Yeah. And like hit them. What the fuck? Nothing that'll affect us. I mean, I'm sure both cars will be immediately totaled if yeah. you do that, but toilet paper and that. That's what I want to. <laughs> yeah, I want to hit. Like, I want to, but like, it's got to be like an H2 or something is something damaging. Cause it, when I, I've talked about it before, but the CRV acted as that yeah. is anytime somebody tried to, to breach my lane and act as though the fear of getting hit would make me slow down. Mm -hmm. I kept the pace going and more often than not, they backed up, but every once in a while we made contact. Mm. Did great. any of them ever be like pull over? We're now involved in a, a dispute where I have to <clears throat> never. call the insurance. Isn't that funny? Never because yeah. it would have been their fault. And honestly, it was never like contact that was damaging to either of our cars. It was almost like, and then glance off like, what the fuck? And it's like, yeah, yeah. I'm in this I feel like to cars, kill, yeah. dude. <laughs> I feel like cars get so easily, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's so many dents on that CRV, you right. can't even tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like somebody went to the driving range and put it right in front of their stall. <laughs> and cars Just 100 yards out. <laughs> cars get affected very easily, too. Like it like I for some reason when I'm driving, I think it's going to be just like bam and then I'm going to be able like bumper cars and we'll be able to keep going. Yeah. And there might be a little scratch or a little dent, but it's like sometimes they're like Ting! Yeah, and all it of a sudden it's hits the wheel. A twelve hundred dollars worth of damage in yeah. an instant. I think I I don't know. I feel like if I had money beyond my wildest dreams, I would probably do I mean, first thing I'm doing, we've talked about this, is just automatic chauffeur everywhere. Yeah. No matter never driving again. Uh just being in the backseat of like a really comfortable, like bench styles, almost like a Rolls Royce. Something where it's just like super plush and cush. And then uh, getting driven everywhere. And then I think I'm going to just buy like as much property as possible in the most yeah. part. I was just really, it's not really a fun answer here, but I would really. <laughs> That's fun. I would really, I'm I'd really like that. to have one. Is there a pirate fight happening on McDougal or is that <laughs> I didn't hear that. I don't hear it that. sounds like cannons are being shot at boats. Cannon. That's fucking nuts. Um, that would well, be yes. cool. I would Being also true, but don't that. you think you would miss 
the pleasure of driving. I love driving. Not in this city. I mean, if it was like, if it was, you know, some place where I knew there would be open road for a while, I could let it out. Nah, maybe... After a while, you'd miss it. In the city after even, even just a little while. I like driving in the city. Yeah, I, I don't no know. All those guys it. from Succession don't look like they miss it at all. <laughs> they look like they love yeah. having a continuous phone conversation, walking out of their apartment, having right a door being phone. held open for them. Happy? Getting right into the back. Yeah, I think <laughs> they're, they're doing pretty I, I all right. No, doing you know okay what they, is a different You know what they thing, said yeah. about that show, too, that they did in the research of it was like they showed that people don't wear, um, you know, they talk to people who are like these high level, really kind of that conglomerate head. And you notice in succession, none of them are ever wearing like coats because they all they ever do is go from like inside to inside. They never have to walk anywhere on their oh, own. Yeah. I mean, they wear like a jacket, they're like a sports coat, but they're never wearing like, I got to bundle up because I'm going to no, brave the elements. never been cold. Yeah, they don't have to. <laughs> never. They're just, what about when they're, they're like leaving sidewalk. the helicopter and stuff? They just go Here's from the helicopter right to the limo, right to the car. There's got to be at least one scene. got to be a helicopter jacket. Boat. Helicopter yeah. jacket. Yeah. yeah, it gets cold under that propeller. I feel like I'd love the idea, and I granted I'd take full advantage of it. I'd go back to drinking tomorrow if I had a driver. But I do <laughs> think that I'd also like a battering ram car. I, you know, there'd be yeah. there'd be some time for both where I could both, you know. Well, I then would, at that point you could just build a stadium that you can kind of do a like what is that? Not motocross, but the uh, demolition derby. Yeah, and then you could just do that at your leisure. But I don't you know, want to drive. I don't know if that's as satisfying as doing it on the road. No, my chauffeur would drive a uh, monster truck. <laughs> grave and, digger? Yeah, the grave digger. And just, the T-Rex just hitting how, everybody. How sick would that be if you had the grave digger guy as your personal just driver? Stuck just stuck in BQE traffic? Yeah, fucking going through the, uh, the, the yeah. toll. Don't the worry, boss. I got this. <laughs> Killing everyone. Cracks open a Budweiser. <laughs> 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 All right. Let's get to the next question. Uh, thank you, Lady Silver. Lady Silver sounds like a like the username of someone you're talking to who turns out to be a guy. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Lady Silver sounds like an X-Man. <laughs> Lady Silver. This one comes from Chris Bickler. Bicky. Here's a scenario. Treehouse of Horror. Each of you choose a horror film slash story and replace the main characters with yourselves. Example, Bates Motel. Brendan as Norman's mom. Canon as Norman, etc. <laughs> Hey. 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 <laughs> Har. Har. Stabby, stabby. Har. <laughs> I would like to see us all in one of those uh like um who done it thrillers like scream or something like that where mm -hmm. it's like uh people are just getting picked off. Dude, I feel and you like have to I notice our a, shoes or something. I feel like I'd be a real good guy who's actually the killer but is everybody is causing a Let's no, do it no, right no. now. I'm causing I'm, that? Hello. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. <laughs> yeah. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, causing the, I would create such a diversion and it sort of lead a witch hunt against who I just was going to be my patsy of really being like, I saw this, per I would really lead all of the torches directly. To now that that's person. where you'd fuck up because you are uh, doth protesting too much and you'd be the first fucking person that we'd be like but dude if it's a, if someone if we showed up over here and Nicole's murdered and all of a sudden I'm like dude it was that fucking guy we're all going to immediately be like oh it must be the guy you know you're not you're thinking I would be like watching, let's call the police let's call yeah, the police you're thinking from a watch a movie perspective but if you're in it I'm really I'm really playing Isn't that the new games. Pete Davidson horror vehicle bodies 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 yeah yeah something like that I it, think it's it is. it's a it's one of those, but it's like about a game or something. Yeah. I feel like uh, I would know it was you instantly. Instantly would have you picked and just ready. Well, yeah. I mean, if, if also if, a shot. Yeah, if a fucking skinny uh, scream guy is walking at you. <laughs> I would yeah, notice. I would as notice as you're you're walking walking through, your fingers stomach came out from <laughs> under your curtain. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, oh, that's Feeny. It's fucking. Yeah. I would be like, I if if uh, this scream guy was coming at me, I go. Do you have any recommendations for uh, <laughs> what to do in the city? Oh well, before I stab you, you gotta know. <laughs> you gotta check out this restaurant. That was that was. It would have been a great. It was a great. It was a good attempt. It was, it was a good attempt. It was definitely wordy. A, you just go, hey wordy. there, Bodie, and you're like Bodie, and you're like, oh god, Bodie, oh, Bodie, that's it. <laughs> Welcome to your death. <laughs> oh, that's great. And here's your gift bag. Here's a, you should make Halloween ones this mm. month. I guess I should. Welcome to the haunted mansion. 
Well, well, where everything is not as it seems. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to uh, Transylvania. Mm. You know any? You, you know anything about uh, Transylvania? No. <laughs> that idea has wheels. It definitely has wheels. Um. Okay. <laughs> should we move on to the next question? Uh, please. I don't know. I don't know if we should ever continue. <laughs> this is some of the worst podcasts I've ever heard. I think heard. it's fine. Nicole? Why do you say that? Why is it the worst? Yeah. I don't know. I feel disconnected. Me and Nicole, on, we're on the same level, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, there it is. Firefly Depot. If you got to design your own haunted house... Ha- I love I love the Halloween theme. Is this the Halloween episode? This is the Halloween episode. Oh, oh man. I would have worn my costume. Put it on now. Put it on. All right, yeah. I'll go to the bathroom. I'll see you guys in a minute. Oh, you have a whole costume. Oh. There's a whole going to the bathroom thing happening. Yeah. There is you, a thing why, about, why do you have to go to the bathroom? Do you have to get naked for it? Yes. <laughs> there is a fun thing about when you when one person is like hella dressed up for a Halloween costume, but then every It's one thing when there's the one guy yeah. who isn't dressed up. You're like, you suck, dude. Way, yeah. to, way to not commit or have fun. But when everyone's dressed, no one's dressed up, but one guy is, you're like... <laughs> A little bit of a try hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to make a Halloween costume right now. Good. Here's going to be my Halloween thing. Here's my creative choice. You ready for this? Are you going to be uh, the... the... Bam. Look at this. Boom. There you go. I'm this guy now. I'm the guy who needs attention. <laughs> and I think I'm, I'm, you know, I'm kind of sticking out with this sweatshirt anyway. So this is my Halloween costume. Fanboy. Um... Backward guy. You know who I, what I saw, what Halloween... Backwards Actually hurts my throat and I won't be doing this. <laughs> that hurts your throat? It's pushing. It's, turns out it's not meant to be worn backwards. You know what Halloween costume I saw? <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> you know what Halloween costume I saw at a Spirits? Ted, Spirit? Spirit. Yeah. Ted Lasso. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's a little old. It's a little played out now. Yeah. Yeah, when you did I think this. I did. I think mine was right in the high. I actually, it was so funny. When I did it, I'd say like 60% of the people had no idea who I was, which is crazy. Mm. They had won so many Emmys at that point. I well, really thought more people, people were like, oh, yeah, I've been meaning to watch that show. I, I felt like that's who you might have been. You were also wearing your clothes. No, I was wearing, I was, I was wearing like a sweater that I don't own and all this other stuff. Oh, here it is. That definitely didn't need to go to the bathroom for. That's cool, dude. You should actually grow your hair out. Oh, nice. <gasps> you're a, you're a, I'm a gender fluid. Oh, vampire. no, that's not going to oh, be Oh, that's, that's going to be bad. Yeah, yeah that's not going to no be No good? A, no. Why? Gender fluid vampire is very funny, though. <laughs> you're thanks, a, a van la- slash pyre. Thanks for laughing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's try to answer some questions All right. with yeah. this obstacle. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, keep your answers short. <laughs> Firefly Depot asks, if you got to design your own haunted house room, what would the scares be? Hmm. Oh, well, it would. Di- ew, disgusting. It would. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sound of that. It's like my retainer. <laughs> I, this is what I would do. I'm doing it for good of how much Feeny fucking <laughs> did, hates it. Did you notice Feeny's costume? Yeah. The cross? I'm backwards. He's boy. backwards guy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And I'm Billy Eilish. <laughs> and Nicole Trump, 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 Billy Eilish. And Nicole is furious. <laughs> she she gently tried to warn us during the text before this, being like, "Yeah, the Dracula teeth probably a terrible idea for the audio medium." And uh, there's so many other options there too. And I got these instead. Mm. Damn, dude, you don't like it? It's it's doing something to me. That's like. Like, yes, you know what I mean? There's it's, something it's about auditorily it. ruining my day. Yeah, I wouldn't be listening to this <laughs> if if I was listening to a podcast and they put on, put in fangs 15, 15, 15, 15. I would go, when did they get rid of it? <laughs> yeah. If if I even continued listening, I'd go, all right, well, I'll see you in Christmas. We're sorry. And we'll I'll catch you on, next week. I'll see you on the Thanksgiving episode. <laughs> So, uh, my, this is what my haunted house room would be. Mm -hmm. The scare would be classic. Uh, you're waiting. It would scare you in ways that like, you didn't know if it was real or not. Like right when you're waiting online, some guy would come and he'd have a fucking gun and he'd be like, 
everybody on the fucking ground, <laughs> like cursing and everything. I take your hands, you know, and people, oh, oh, scary. And then be like, is what I would say if this was real. And everybody goes, ah, mm, enjoy the rest of the show. If you did that in Texas, that guy would have been shot 36 times before well, yeah. he revealed. You're doing uh, that in Long Island. Ah, <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> going to make a, uh, I'm going to make like a bunch of people on the line as well that are not part of the experience, but are acting as Patsy. So like the people being like, Oh, we're enjoying. And then have like yeah. them fall in like a hole and be like, no. And then yes. all of a sudden people are like, what the hell? So people think they're dropping off like flies, not even aware that they're actors in this whole thing. Whoa. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that would be great. And someone gets like taken by like a guy who pops out and then we're like, oh, that's scary. But then he actually takes the person. And this like, isn't a fucking thing. Someone's like, watch my kid. And yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You know, and this this isn't a part of it. There's, no, there's no. a child actor that's like being like, mom, you know, that, oh, that would be annoying. Yeah. That I would complain about. You'd okay. complain. You'd be terrified. I'd be terrified, but after I'd... Imagine being I'd terrified go. and being like, oh my God, oh my God, I could do without the kid. <laughs> That's ah! exactly what I would do. i go, a little advice from a customer. Uh, get rid of the kid. This is my Yelp review. So, oh. Mike, what Starbucks. would you do? No, I don't have one. <laughs> Mike took the Dracula team personally. No, you guys are just no fun at all. You're just <laughs> that was keep the wig. Fun. I like the wig. The wig's fun. great. Now suck my dick. I'm not keeping anything. I'll wear the wig. Pass You're not me the wig. Shit. Can I wear the wig? No, you can't wear a single I, thing. I want to want to. I will <laughs> fist fight you before you touch the wig. You have so much. I don't care. Loose hair. That watch. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> okay, Alex the truck asks. Um. Unless Mikey wants to answer the question. No. Okay. Alex. I Truck. might not answer another Mikey. question for the whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> you can put the Go things ahead. in, man. Go ahead. <laughs> um, it's just the general attitude and it sucks. <laughs> it, there's no fucking fun to be had in this show. You guys are too fucking queefs. I think you're wrong about that because I, I think I, we're I don't having think so. fun because we're literally to steal the Joe list joke, making fun of you. That wasn't so we're a, creating that wasn't, that wasn't fun. making fun. That was like poo pooing in a cunty manner. That was what that I was, was laughing at it. Were you laughing at I it? I liked I liked the wig. And I liked I liked the wig. The and I liked teeth. making fun of the Dracula okay. teeth. But Look, you had, you had nothing to say about the Dracula teeth. You were just a twat. I was clearly kidding. It's a bit. It's for fun and you both were just like ah. Like that's the bit. Killer, guys. Super funny stuff. Well, let's try again. Put the fangs in. <laughs> no. I mean, let's put the fangs in. <laughs> no longer. I'm reneging on what I said before the show. Now I'm determined, in now I'm determined to sit here. This is this is, this show is a, is just a pressure cooker. A pressure cooker. Yeah. Take three sensitive Nancys, put them in a fucking room together. Now that should have been the tagline of the show. Alex the truck asks. What would Brendan have to do for Canon to publicly release that? Brendan? I'm actually putting it out right now <laughs> on <do> Patreon. <laughs> it's a public when release was that? What? When did we, his asshole picture? Uh, don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that. I know when we took it too. I'll actually text Lucas for the first time in 18 months <laughs> to ask him if he still has it. <laughs> I imagine he, before, as you open it, you see the three little dots. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here the whole time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I am Alex the truck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's another one from Lady Silver. You've gone missing, and your family and friends discover you've joined a cult. What type of cult is it, and what is your role within? Hmm. Cult, and what is your role in it? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I'd like to be in a cult where it's like, I like that, uh, what was that country one? Uh, oh, the Rajneeshi. Yeah. Oh. What's that? What was that called? The something something. Wild wild country. Wild wild wild, wild, country. wild country. Uh, do that. But instead of the guy who's like the head of it, I would like to be that person who is like the second in command, who's actually in charge of it. Yes. Goebbels. It's kind of Dick being Cheney. like. Yes, I'd like to be the Dick Cheney <laughs> of the cult and be pulling the strings, and then when it all goes wrong, that person takes a heat and I That's slink out of there. Idea. Is she still a free woman? The tough I think she was uh, 
I, I think so. I think I think she's probably been found guilty. Was that what it was? Like she like poisoned was... the water supply and all of yeah. that. Like the the behind the scenes puppet master. Well, I don't think initially. Well, he got to free. He had free reign of of sexual assault and doing all that stuff. And she was basically the like uh, business head. Yeah. She, yeah. She's like, oh, you'll get your comeuppance. Keep cheating. No, they weren't even a sexual partnership. No. She yeah. was just his ruthless right hand man. Yeah. The Dick Cheney. The Ghislaine Maxwell. The Goebbels. <laughs> the Goebbels. <laughs> um, Who is Goebbels, Brendan? Goebbels, Goebbels was Hitler's uh, right-hand man. Okay. Good. Oh, I know enough about Hitler. <laughs> 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 I, could, I could run a class on that guy. Well, considering you're Jewish, I'm sure it was important to your cultural upbringing. L'chaim. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. To life. <laughs> uh, How'd you observe yesterday? With my eyes <laughs> and ears, mostly taste buds. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't. Aren't you supposed to fast? Nothing's supposed to go past your lips. No water. No anything for twenty. How many <laughs> hours? Licked, is it? Twenty six hours. Licked his lips. Yeah. As a challenge to the <laughs> Jewish gods. <laughs> um. Here's a, okay. So any anything could be a cult, really, right? If you try hard enough. So I'm thinking, I somehow control a group of penguins. I go to the zoo and I become like the penguin cult leader. King Penguin. King Penguin. Danny yeah. DeVito. Danny DeVito. Mm -hmm. But cuter. Mm -hmm. And uh, somehow, you know, we rob banks and stuff together. Just disrupt oh. the city in a way. It's more of a gang. I feel like you'd have a pretty good hold on like the mackerel uh Population because that that's fishy. They eat a lot of mackerel. It's a fish. I don't oh, know about yeah. bank. They they wouldn't be able to hold guns. I'm going to need to know this. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of just slap Wait. their side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're gonna have to. Mac how do you spell? That? Figure out a gun that works with a flipper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, ah, that wasn't going to be funny. I'm happy I stopped myself. Ethan Skullfox asks, <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather? Go into an LSD perma trip for three years, or never be oh, able God. to use any vices such as weed, booze, etc., ever again. That I would, I'll, yeah. I'll just go nothing. Never. Yeah, yeah, three uh, yeah. Year I would love trip. to. You never. You will not come out of that the same. One week <laughs> like, perma yeah. trip is yeah. over. Your life's done. Yeah, you're not gonna be that same person anymore no, after one week a year three years is that what it was yeah once it shuts off i bet you wouldn't even know either you'd just be like you'd be so fucking into that reality already that yeah probably crossing back into regular reality will would do double double harm you'd have so many scars and problems and physical things that yeah. you've done that's three years earth time so trip time that could be 17 years yeah 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 it's like the in uh the fucking the planet that the Matthew McConaughey goes on to. Interstellar, Interstellar yeah. Interstellar. Yeah. It's like everything is yeah. He comes back and just cruise <laughs> cruise old. Cruise old and in a yeah. in a hospital and you're like, I told you I'd be back. <laughs> By a hell of a ride, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be that'd be nuts, dude. <laughs> yeah. I I wonder if like that would just be you. You would just be that person. Like after like a year, people would be like, that's the that guy. Like you wouldn't have a life before that. They'd be like, "Oh, that's the LSD guy. He's on LSD all the time." Yeah, nobody would talk to you anymore. No, there was a guy in my hometown that walked around, and that was like a rumor about him is that he was just always on LSD. He was this like ginger guy. He went to our high school. He walked around. He had this big uh, afro kind of thing. Oh, did I lose both of you at the same time. No. <laughs> <laughs> just looked, I'll be honest, you lost me before I started. You, you lost me at Welcome to Here's the Scenario. <laughs> this thing was itching my throat there. <laughs> All right. Cerna style. Cerna style. So that's a convoy on not the LSD thing. Yeah. No, screw that. Cerna style asks Here's the scenario contract jack. Your significant other suspects infidelity. Who are they going to hire to test your willingness to stray? Who are they going to hire to, like, walk up to you and be like, hey, what's up? <laughs> you were so funny up there. <laughs> what's the question? Um, your wife basically I, uh, hires somebody to, uh, so, like, your wife think, I'll just read it. I'll just read it. 
Your significant other suspects infidelity. Wait, I do like that as a game too, though, is you reading a question and, and then, then in five seconds we ask you what that question <laughs> was. It's like it's like <laughs> retad trivia. <laughs> Cue the music. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Uh so your wife hires somebody to hit on you so that you would cheat on them because they suspect that you're cheating. So cool. they, want it, they want proof. So what's the question? Right. Um, <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> who are they going to hire to test your willingness to stray? Oh, so who do they think that I, what, that would be my most? Yeah. Yeah. I see. I'm curious. I bet Nicole doesn't even know what I like. <laughs> 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 She'd like just think it was her. She'd like be like, what? Yeah. I, I guess just like her and a wig. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Different color hair. I'm like, and yeah, bangs. that does it for me. <laughs> <laughs> She's just quiet. <laughs> I like this not, chick. Yeah, I'm not even acknowledging, acknowledging the fangs. No, will not. Will not. <laughs> if I put in the fangs right now, we'll be we're, oh, are we no. cool? No, I don't want you to. That'd be gross. I would do that grossness so that we would be cool again. No, we're cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> we're cool. Don't worry about it. We're cool. No one's ever been further from cool. <laughs> we're cool. This is cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> I had, like, big plans for those teeth and wigs. <laughs> big plans. What were the plans? Don't worry about it. You'll never know. It was going to be fun, though. It was like fun in a lighthearted, fun friends way. Damn. Not a poo-poo your idea. <laughs> Um, so who would uh, Erica hire? You I, think? I don't. That's a great question, man. I feel like, uh, well, there's you know there's the there's the obvious like the 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 Margot Robbie's, but but someone I'd be honestly like someone that's a celebrity of that like a Rihanna, someone that's at that level would be like almost too nerve wracking to even be like I can't. This can't be a. I mean, if Rihanna sits down next to you and just starts really going for it, I mean, yeah. you know, there are unfamous women that look like Rihanna. Like yeah. you could just say a Rihanna type. No, but I yeah, think Rihanna too is anything. because no, I know Rihanna, you know, Rihanna's personality. That's kind of what also makes it hot is, you know, she'll be smoking blunt. She shits on you. She's laughing. She's having a good time. She can sing. She shits on you. She can't dance. Yeah. She's got like a lot With of, her butt? she's got, yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Mike's like, I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> right. <Ponde> uh, River. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chocolate River. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. Um, yeah, there's nobody. <laughs> That's the answer. Boys. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You did. If fucking Lena Dunham showed up, Lena you'd be Dunham. like, and hello, yeah. lady. <laughs> Want to compare shitty tattoos? Want to compare faces and bodies? <laughs> Because they're the exact same. Guys, just drive us through the gay pride parade whenever the show ends and <laughs> yeah. uh, say it wasn't for everyone, but it's for us. Yeah, what a what a what crazy a wild tweet. Yeah, she's the best. Oh my god. She is she you can there's just you know I've no never definition s- from here down. You know I've never <laughs> seen a single thing that she's created. I've never seen, seen one episode girls? not one episode. Not even just like it's just one of those things where when something comes out and it has such a visceral hate. And then also such a even more visceral defense of it. It's like I don't even I don't even want to get involved in any of that. I'm all it's set. It's not bad. Adam Driver was good. I bet there's I bet there's it's great good. things. There's in funny it. stuff. It's kind of like, like ass eating scene. It's kind of like was hot. Hannah Gatsby's uh, thing where you're just like people either like this fucking is yeah. the worst thing, and then other people be like you don't understand what real comedy. And then it just is like you know what. You guys settle that. Yeah. I got other stuff going. I definitely I, pushed the raft into the middle of the river, but then I hope it comes back and I'll watch it later. Like I watched Nanette after yeah. all that shit. And I was just like, I just want to see what this is. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I, I, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not mad nor interested. Well, that's the thing. It's just, I'm yeah. not, it, I just know you, like, you can watch something even for a trailer for something and you go, okay, this has an audience. I'm not that audience. Yeah. And that's fine. It doesn't have to be like, I, I, this isn't for me, so it should be for no one. I was watching it for market research on how to quit. <laughs> like, like, what do I, well, what's she my, failed at it, I, so well, no, she did She went to, it's the perfect threat. It's the classic, I'm done. I'm going to scream at the top of my lungs. And the worst case scenario is I follow through and I'm actually done. Hmm. And then, but it, it hit. 
obviously. But, but I'm saying, that that's becomes a great, like a huge thing. That's a great career marketing ploy, but that's a terrible strategy if your intention is to actually quit. But I, th- I mean, it's not necessarily terrible because she obviously had love for performing initially. So it's like performing comedy is almost like the hottest, like a Rihanna that cheats on you a little bit. And you're like, God damn it. Can you just stop sucking dick? So fucking publicly (laughs) like you're just, you're embarrassing me lady. But then the moment that they're like, I'm only for you. You're like, I'll I'll do it. All right. (laughs) You know what I mean? That's like where you're like, that's it. I'm done. And then they're like, all right, I've come to Jesus. This is it. And you're like, I will be with you forever. Yeah. I've never seen it. I, I think I would like to watch it. After hearing her, like I, what you just said, I was like, oh, I want to see how she does that. It's intense. That's it. That's the most like that, that's the one word feeling review <laughs> of it. It's very, very intense. It, there's a lot of emotion in it, which is why it's like you, you almost feel uneasy and uncomfortable. But I think that's the idea. The one thing I saw from it was like her doing a uh, a bit about the color blue. That's what I saw too. And that I, was the trailer I saw, and I was like, "I'm all right." <laughs> yeah, and I, and I saw red, so I left. <laughs> <laughs> I, the comedy is pretty like <laughs> it's Play. pretty basic, but apparently she was she was a good comic before that. That's what Ari told me. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe I'll check it out later. Yeah. All right. Next question comes from Lady Silver. Boy, oh boy! Oh, she's got a lot propping of up this whole app. Uh, what product would in Cerna style to shame? Yeah. What product would you stockpile if you discovered they were going to stop selling it? Weed. What toilet paper? Weed. <laughs> Instantly. Yeah. Weed. Stopped selling it. Jesus. Yeah. Although that's the, that, <laughs> that, that's that was a little that was, that was a little addict addicting. Ah, <laughs> that, was a, that was a little addict shit. That was you know fear. <laughs> stop selling. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you don't think. <laughs> but then you could also just start growing your own. Well, seeds are done, so oh. so there are gone. no seeds. Yeah, it's gone. We this just is, does not exist. This anymore. is the last. No, this is the last batch. Like this is all we got. There are no new plants. It's like that fucking. Uh, oh, what's that guy's name? That that movie where the women can't give birth anymore. Handmaid's Clay almost? something. Huh. Used to date Jennifer Aniston. Huh. Rough looking Brit. Clay is, is it his Clay? name. Michael Clay smokes a cigarette like this. Clive oh. Owen. Clive. Clive. <laughs> That's a That's Clive cool Owen. Name. What movie is that where the women can't get there? Like women haven't given birth in two years. And it's like everybody's freaking out. I don't know. Damn. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Either. Weed would be rough. That would be rough. Toilet paper. Actually, I don't really, you know, then you could just hop in the shower or get a bidet or something. Which you have. Which I have. Which yeah. I got to set up. Dude, our bathroom is like. Like I don't really notice it, but it is it is like the the tall tale heart for Jess. It's going like Oh, you have one of those old pipes? No, it's like it's just something in the uh the system is doing that. So it's like What system? The toilet. So it's like it's just like this fucking noise. What's the tall tale heart? Uh that was that story where the Edgar Allan Poe. The the, oh, guy, the, the yeah, yeah. the guy murdered the somebody and put it under the I got gotcha. you. The heart. It's heartbeat. the beating of the hideous heart. <laughs> so yeah it's it's i don't even know why i said that but no i think it was a good reference it's oh shock the day yeah shocking that i didn't know it no it was a shocking water good uh. reference that is also that was more but surprising. i knew it, but it was i knew it once episode. you described it yeah, yeah but i didn't know it by title the uh water is also a good answer Stockpiling water is not very funny. I mean, that's what <laughs> that's what a lot of that's what a select few billionaires are currently doing. Yeah. <laughs> Stockpiling, Stockpiling, like Stockpiling water. water. Yeah. Whoa, really? Yeah, they're privatizing a lot of uh, a lot of natural We're water. We're in real big trouble. Yeah. It's, oh my god. In yeah, yeah. A very short amount of time. Damn, dude. What as you- soon as there's a solar flare, like you're wishing for it. That's what's so cute lately. You're just like, solar flare, can't wait. It'll get me off Instagram. It's like, that <laughs> was I said that one time. <laughs> You've said it like four times in the last two times I've I, seen you. <laughs> I have been talking about social media, but uh, yeah, yeah. I said I wish something would just In go- the most <laughs> fun way of the fuck, and I can't figure it. Yeah. <laughs> Fred is like, thank God I'm off IG as somebody's eating just, you know, <laughs> follow me. <laughs> 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 I'm like, what am I doing? 
This is perfect. Yeah, let me let me design <laughs> another a, swing. Let me design a thumbnail for this cannibal that's <laughs> eating my left foot. Yeah, speaking of social media, why don't you uh, follow us and also give this show a five star review on iTunes? Yeah, as well as telling your friends, telling your friends is huge, uh, and watching it on YouTube and all that stuff. And check out the Patreon, patreoncom pod. You get all exclusive stuff from us. You get uh, tickets for shows early. You get you see most things early. Not really our specials because we try to work the out. I'll go, I guess. <laughs> but um, everything else, patreon.com slash scenario pod. We have a lot of shit coming. A lot of vlogs, a lot of travel stuff. What did we say we had on the... We had like 90 something. What, did, what was it? No, we have over 200 hours of exclusive podcasts. We have the live apps from Austin that have been dropping yeah. every single week. We have the Boston travel vlog that's coming out. We have Alaska that's coming out in November. Right, Nicole? Yeah. Yeah, we have a, a shitload of shit. I think we still is, have the, the part of the... Oh, the cruise, the Celtic. Cruise. Oh yeah, the Celtic cruise as well. Yeah, yeah. I, we're gonna bust a fucking Nicole's just content load. Nicole's sweating. Nicole yeah. is just. I can. I can. I'm getting anxious for Nicole. And if you would like to work for us, <laughs> yeah. you'd like to work for Nicole. For Nicole, most. Send us an email, and uh, we'll have we'll, some like some tangible skills. Some editing skills. Something before. where that's all we think need. Think about it from a perspective of if Nicole were to hire you, if we were to hire you for it to help Nicole. Could you alleviate Nicole's issues or would you spend half of your time asking questions to Nicole on how to do the thing to help her? Yeah. Because yeah. then it's not worth it. That's right. Nicole, what do you need out of someone? Go. Pretty much exactly what you just said. Like, ideally, someone who has some base level knowledge of editing. You don't have to be a whiz, but somebody who can kind of like tee it up, help me out, take some of this on my plate. Yeah. Please. <laughs> I'm drowning. Please. Throw me a rat. Nicole's getting shorter every week from Please compressing help. weight on her shoulders. <laughs> or at least come by and just take the sweat off of Nicole's forehead. <laughs> if you could just do that. Stab that'd be her with a wet cloth. Yeah. yeah. Rub and, her shoulders as she's, as she's editing. And see us on the road. Me? Oh. So, yeah, come out. MikeCannonComedy.com for all the tickets. I'll be, uh, when is this coming out? Is this next week? This is the Halloween one, I thought. Oh, this is Halloween. That's right. So I forgot how upset I got. So the 26th. <laughs> um, We're just going to move past that. <laughs> oh, no. So I just got done with Cleveland, Ohio. That was a blast. Hope you guys enjoyed those sold out shows. I'm going to be November 2nd and 3rd. I'm in Chicago and then Rosemont, both at Zany's Comedy Club. Come on out. I've been to downtown a bunch of times. New to Rosemont. Very excited. Very excited I could turn my sister-in-law's wedding into a work trip. And uh, then I'll be, I got a show. At the New York Comedy Festival, that's a big one. November 8th, it's uh, all green lights, comedians on edibles doing crowd work, similar to the special that I just released. That's going to be awesome. We locked in three of the performers so far, and they are fucking bonkers. We have two more. You guys are going to love it. It's going to be a fantastic show. Tickets to that are available on my website, uh, MikeCannonComedy.com. Heck yeah. Um, MikeFeeneyComedy.com. I'll be in uh, Indianapolis, uh, Helium, um, going back out to Vegas after Skankfest, uh, twitch.tv slash nyfreshmaker, youtube.com slash Comedy. If you could just go over and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, I got some stuff cooking that I want to put out. So let's let's start retroactively juicing those sub numbers. Thank Heck you. Yeah. Yeah. And while you're in the subscribing mode, hit, hit me up too do my YouTube as well as uh, you know just some other people let's just start plugging other people <laughs> let's can we do that thing where we other people's other plugs uh, <laughs> Mike Cannon comedy youtube.com slash Mike Cannon comedy <laughs> and youtube.com slash Brendan Sagalow also BrendanSagalow.com for all dates and follow me on Twitch twitch.tv slash say are you coming back you riches is I'm big, trying there's a big rumor going on that you're the new Ian in terms of the disappearing Twitch monster Oh, if you this think if you think newly living with his girlfriend Brendan is allowed to stream, you're out of. Well, that's what happened. You don't that's think what I'm happened with Ian. I don't think you're allowed. <laughs> Ian's girlfriend moved in, and we haven't heard from him in two years. But he is doing the thing of like, I'm coming back. I'm I'm setting it right back up. I'll be on this week. But then I tried but, to go on the other day, but my fucking controller was broken. So I, you know, the controller's still a problem. I went over <laughs> to. Uh, <laughs> I got a new one. I just got a new controller. You, Did you, you send it a rebate? Um, no, I haven't. Cause I checked the, the warranty and it was like, uh, it was like, um, it had already been past the warranty for like a couple of weeks, <laughs> buddy. So I know. Look, so you spent a fresh one. Nobody baby. hates me as much <laughs> as I hate me. That has to be a three and a half month problem. Yeah. 
and it you it lapsed by a couple weeks. Yeah, but the guy at the at this the, is your at vampire the GameStop. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Have, <laughs> make fun, have fun. Uh, I will take it in stride, and we'll all be friends after this. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, well, I went to GameStop, and the guy was like, "Yeah, we uh, can't. We don't fix these, and you didn't Did get, you get it to GameStop." Yeah, I thought maybe they would do repairs, but oh. they don't. Um, so I just bought like a fifty dollar one. Had you reached out to not Amazon, but the company that you, the actual company, Elite Xbox controller that you bought, and no, like your thing is is defective. <laughs> They're I run they by the Triad gang yeah. in China. He has no chance of getting <laughs> a fucking. No, I can email <laughs> Xbox Elite and all that. But I have another control, and I tried to go on. So I'm not, I, I'm not Ian. Okay, Ian didn't. I'm even, not saying you. I'm saying there's a rumor that that's uh, that that's happening. Ian wow. didn't even uh, open the the box. His PC is still sitting in a box. Yeah, just hanging out there. So that's the only thing of his in a box. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Well, we welcome you back. We got a uh, Nicole. Nicole C lines on Instagram. That's right. There we go. We got a we got a Brendan uh spelling segment here. Um so I don't know if you want to do it. <laughs> well, you failed uh, you failed to spell a word that you were reading I earlier. I purposely like kind of like uh, rushed are, over these it. These are really easy ones. Or well, at least what the first one is. Hit me. Okay. Spelling uh Brendan spelling segment take 3. Volume 3. Your first word is garbage. G A R B A G E. Garbage. Ding, ding, ding. Good job. That's garbage. Next up. And I almost fucked that one up. Boy, are these going to get harder for you? Gargoyle. G A R. You know, sometimes I have to do it faster if I think I'll lose all of it. G A R. Nice little fucking stanza in the middle of it. G A R G O Y L E. Hey, two for two. And here we go. The last one. Imagine if I'm cheating. <laughs> I like looked at. Well, you were re- you were like, oh, we have a spelling segment. And then and it's- but I'll tell you why I know Gargoyle, because I loved that show Gargoyles on uh, Disney or whatever. Okay. It was. Well, how about this last WB. one? WB. Describes, WB. describes your personality pretty well. Gregarious. Okay, well, I'm going to have to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be here. <laughs> Gre- say it again. Do yeah, you need to step out? Like gregarious, <laughs> gregarious. Um, city of origin, London. Okay, good, good. <laughs> I never understood why they needed that. They don't. Why do they need the city of origin? I think they ask country of origin. Oh, so they understand. Whoa, the that's a short of- YouTube music video. Okay, gregarious. You were stalling too long. I have to restart <laughs> it. Are you watching? It was only five minutes long. Are you watching an ad right now? Gregarious. G. Gregarious. G R. G R E G. Greg. A R O U S. Fuck. Almost. So close, dude. One letter off. What was it? I. Gregarious. Those eyes, man. All right, we got we got three more. So you're two for three. Three more. <laughs> well, you're three two more for three. Is crazy. This first one's so easy. Okay. Back to the easy volume. Ready? Two for three. First, your third, your fourth word is kitchen. Kitchen. I should know how to spell that. Am I right, ladies? Well, don't stall. Just do it. K I K I C H. No, wait. K I T C H. Damn. Kitchen. K I T. What I like about this game S- is the sadness that K- overcomes Dude. Mike as every time. It's like a K-I-T- gray cloud. C H E N. An illiterate gray cloud. K I T C H E N. Yep. Yeah. Fifth Kitchen. time's a charm. So that's yeah. two for four. It was four. just a slip up. Next up. But you would have gotten buzzed quick if this was the national spelling bee. They would have. Uh, yeah. That would have been two for four. You can still come out with the positive record here. Here we go. Okay, hit me. Next word is kinetic. Kinetic? Like kinetic energy. Kinetic energy. I know exactly how you're about to spell this. Kinetic energy. K E Ah, well. K-O? No, but K-I-N-E-T-I-C. 
now we have one more question. So the, you can go for 500 here. We can get you to 500. Otherwise, you have a losing record. Your final word is Knickerbocker. Ooh. Oh, boy. K N I C K E R B O C K E R. Yes. Uh, oh, what a tale of redemption. <laughs> not since, my Ruby. Not since Rudy. Rudy. Yeah, yeah, not Ruby. 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 Yeah, sorry, I played a lot of Zelda. <laughs> and those were called rupees. Three for six in the spelling bee. So company. your Shaq's free throw percentage. It's not, And he's doing not, commercials. Not bad. <laughs> I just not bit bad, my lip dude. on that. Oh, man. I, I could picture Brendan coming home with a report card being like, huh? Yeah. 50 right in the middle. <laughs> Average sounds good to me. <laughs> D as in dude, you're pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this is out of Z. Actually, so. um, running bits, running bits. Hey, look, you know, you got is that the, a bit. Yeah. Is it's a, a bit neat joke. Do? I'm doing. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> Hope it's got more legs on the stage. <laughs> it does. <laughs> um, it does. <laughs> okay. Thank you to all the uh, Patreon members for asking questions uh, once again. And the last time we'll say it for this episode, patreon.com slash scenario pod. Um, this next one comes from the Instagram. Destry Woo! Williams. Destry. Destry. Strangest thing you've ever found. Strangest thing you've ever found. A friendship with you. <laughs> okay. I'll take that. That's uh, a nice little movie tagline. Mm-hmm. And the strangest friendship they've ever found. Strangest found. thing I've ever found. I told you that my my ex-girlfriend's brother found a dead body like a hundred <laughs> feet from my house. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> it was like right at the ma- at the bottom of this mountain. And the the reason why they I told you I think I said this on the show, but they the, the body was wearing Jordans. So he thought he found like a fresh pair of kicks yeah, in yeah, the middle yeah. of the woods, picked it up, and it was like a severed foot. Oh my <laughs> yeah, god, dude, it was so fucked up. Jesus Christ, that wasn't me though. Did they ever, <laughs> did they ever solve that crime? I don't know, actually. Good question. I never oh even, god, never Weirdest, even thought. Yeah, of it. we never called the cops. Weirdest <laughs> thing you ever found. That's so hard to try to. I found a lot of like porno in the oh, woods. Oh yeah, a lot of porn. Find you find porno in the woods a lot. Porn and knives. I remember <laughs> Yeah, I knives. Old grenades too. Rusty knives. Old grenades is crazy. I remember yeah. when I was in London and I was probably like twelve or something like that, or thirteen. They I w- we were going into I was going into one of those, you know, London phone booths to take a picture or something, and it was just littered with like those you know, sex call for a good time kind of a thing. But the women all were like for sure in like their forties or something and had like cartoonishly large boobs. Like those <laughs> like ones that are like this, you yeah. know what I mean? That are just these they look like two airbags that had just deployed at maximum strength. Nice man. And I saw that in such it's like it's such a weird time because you're like those aren't what I think they're supposed to be, but they're yeah. like, they're like <laughs> for a good time, call fucking, you know, lady tits. You're, whatever, you're you know. seven, oh, you but see. you know it's fucking you up forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know why, but this makes me feel weird. Yeah. Uh, oh, I me- This makes me stabby. <laughs> My mom took me to a dry cleaner when she was, like, picking some stuff up when I was really young, and I went into the bathroom of the dry cleaner, and uh, on the toilet was a porno magazine that was, like, not like like you know Playboy is like nice and shit. This had like cocks and stuff and uh, and like you know I swear to God I think I did one of these and it it sounds like a joke but I really think it happened where the thing went like this and it was a dude's cock like it went like like a multiple trifold. pages like a mad centerfold magazine. yeah a centerfold yeah. <laughs> yeah you put it you fold it in it's like a a jack o' lantern yeah. <laughs> cool uh, uh, I now that I think about it when I lived with my dad and his girlfriend like immediately following uh, my parents' divorce. I uh, I found a plug-in dildo in his top drawer, like a plug with a long cord, and I was oh like, "Oh my god, who likes to do that? Who <laughs> likes to be on a leash and stab yeah, with yeah. that sort of thing? There's no freedom. You're like wrapping or around it, their leg. Was like wireless snake. even invented then, though? Or is <laughs> yeah, it what is this we, the 70s? Well, like, we yeah, were in of the course. we were in the world of corded phones still back then. 
No, this was in oh. Yeah, but remotes had batteries. When was this? This was oh eight. But not oh eight oh nine. Greater community. Yeah, oh, it was, if it's 08 or 09, then... Oh, there's if it was 09, then yeah, I thought this was like... Cordless I thought this was like 97. <laughs> oh, dude. You said after your parents... Oh, I, for- yeah. I always forget your parents got divorced like eight months ago. I always yeah. think it's like when you were a kid. No. Like a human, like the rest of us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, no, in the was, formative years. Yeah. yeah. It was. No, there was, there was, oh, there was yeah. Oh, 08, 09. Very formative years. For you, because you were... What, what, how I graduated you? in 09. From high school. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I think anytime your parents get divorced, it's going to, it's going to be bad. Except when you're older and you're like, whatever, you know what I mean? <laughs> you're like 40 and you've been hoping for it. It's just, yeah, it's just weird if you're like yeah, 44, 50 years old being like, my parents just got divorced. <laughs> you know, I'm in my formative midlife crisis. <laughs> I'm going to buy a Miata. <laughs> Sorry, boss. I'll have those papers to you, but... My parents just got divorced. <laughs> just a boss being like, I don't care and neither should you. How old are your parents? 63? This is Google. Come on, get the fuck out. <laughs> That's stunning when parents actually take the legal steps to do that. That means they truly hate each other on a yeah. visceral level. If you're like, I don't even want you seeing me when I'm dying. <laughs> like, it's like, you don't need to remarry. Just go out and like, just choose to be separated. You're well, but there are, there are problems with the, the will and the health insurance oh, yeah, and guess. taxes. It's oh, actually, yeah. uh, you're like, I don't even I don't want you in my life. But even then, all. like if we're, if we've lived our life together for like 40 years and then we're like, all right, that's it. Like our, our kids are all grown, whatever. It's like, you still should be. You but should yeah. you should still get what I got. You know what I mean? Because you've Maybe, done your but time. But not the not, yeah. not power of benefit. attorney though. I yeah. wouldn't want you getting power of attorney. That's fair. Then What's you can trip, but attorney? that's just will. It's that's will choose, stuff. To choose whether you like if I'm like on a respirator, whether you want to keep me alive or Oh, but that's yeah. what you could you could iron that out. You know, you don't have Legal. to yeah, in a will. You don't yeah, have yeah. to get a divorce. It's much more it's much easier to get a notary to stamp something than it is to get a divorce. Yeah, just tell the doctors, don't let Dave. I don't know. I've read a lot of ads know. on bus stops that says it's pretty quick and famous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if both of you have no money except for the three hundred dollar fee you're giving that yeah. guy. Yeah. I'm gonna go in the people's court and then it's all free. Like my buddy did. Still uh, for divorce? No, not for divorce, for uh breaking into his his aunt's house. What? Well, he was his his he got into parental problems. His parents had been divorced, and uh, he got into a fight with his dad. So he was living with his aunt, and then him and his aunt started getting into fights. And then his aunt changed the <laughs> locks on him. Oh, sounds well, like he was the problem. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, it's a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. But he she changed the <laughs> locks on him, so he went to go back and get all of his stuff so he could move out. But all the locks were changed and he couldn't get any of his stuff but he could see his stuff so I think he like broke the back door so that he could get in and get his stuff and then yeah. she was suing him for that and then they went on people's court and then uh, wow. and then they pay for it when you're wrong that's the reason people go on people's court they pay oh. for it. if there ever is a problem they pay for it let's go to people's court during the most uh, this, is, it, this is I'm laughing about it but you guys are going to be horrified but during the most <laughs> like disgruntled time of my dad and I after I had moved out of his girlfriend's place, I went back to get my stuff. And I had like, I had my golf clubs, all that stuff. And he told me that his golf club, like it was in her car cause she had been using it. And I was like, I'm going to plant that nine iron into your fucking skull right now. Like, and he was like blocking me from getting it. Wouldn't let me get any of my stuff. So instead of going to jail, I called the cops. Well, yeah. And oh. I was like, I was like, look at me being sla- slightly you, mature slash still white trash. Did you make the call in front of him. Like, yeah, my father here is yeah. obstructing yeah. my path. Oh, that's 100%. how you do it. That's your yeah. own, like taking the club to his head. Yeah. You're like, I'm gonna, I can't do that. So I'm going to do this right. I was like, you. he's my father is physically barring me from retrieving my stuff to leave the home in which I no longer wish to share with him. Like I was being so, <laughs> so like, and my dad's like, you know, <laughs> how old were you? I was uh, 22. Oh, yeah. Probably, yeah. yeah. 20, it was like right after college. Or no, maybe 21. It was like in between college, I think, or after. I forget. Did the cops come? No, it was like right when I, I was like finishing the, the thing. My dad was like, just get your fucking stuff. Yeah. 
And I was like, <laughs> thank you, Kevin. Thanks. No need to send the police officer. Thank you so much. Yeah, no, <laughs> and he goes to hang up and it's like, if you'd like to make a call, please. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to movie phone. <laughs> <laughs> Press one for finding for Nemo. Two for Garden State. <laughs> yes, he is assaulting me. <laughs> Why don't you just tell me the movie you want to see? <laughs> yeah, from Seinfeld? Yeah. Classic line. All right, we got time for one more. And this one comes from Nikki P. Oh. Hello, here's the scenario pod. You have to choose between two options. Sleep with a co-worker who, in, in, who divulges your sexual... Pro, ah, Jesus Christ. Pro, proclivities. 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 <laughs> to Say fellow, it again. Proclivities. Proclivities. There you go. Mm. The only reason I know that word is from Con Air when John Malkovich says it. I've never heard this like, word. Despite before. my own proclivities on the subject. <laughs> it's such a fucking evil a word. word in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> to uh, to fellow employees. Or shit your pants on a blind date. What was the first part? Like basically sleep with somebody, like sleep with a comic or, or whatever, writer or whatever, and they just tell everybody what, what you're into. Oh. Well, you've already lived that life. Oh, yeah. I mean, everybody <laughs> knows what I'm into. Yeah. Yeah. You've starred in reels. Yeah. yeah. You've got, you you've got like <laughs> too. an 8 million, re yeah. 8 million view reel that's pretty yeah. pretty telling. Is, yeah. that, is that at 8 million? Oh, it's got I, a lot, and everybody close to you knows it's about you. <laughs> Great. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's very true. So let's just have a moment of silence while I can swallow that. I feel like... I mean, I wouldn't no, I care. care. I, I wouldn't care because we already do that, care. or yeah. I do that at least. Like I talk about my sexual performance on stage and the yeah. embarrassing bullshit that comes yeah. along with or it. Or what's the? I don't care. I even talked about it. On I Twitter. also don't think that I have enough of an interesting like proclivities for people to be like, "Whoa!" I think people would be like, "Yeah, that pretty standard." Checks out. Yeah, yeah. standard. Yeah, it, it, it really is guy, just you know? uh, <laughs> yeah, meat, potatoes, and asshole guy. That's yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, it was like, so you're going to tell everybody I come fast. Well, I'm going to eight mile that to you. Yeah. Oh, darn. Yeah. You haven't <laughs> listened to me on guess, Legion of Sky. Yeah. yeah. Erase a decade <laughs> yeah. of podcasts. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> if I shit on a blind date, that would be uh, incredibly in Not shit in on them. Shit your pants. Yeah. If I shit. Whilst oh, on a blind date, you meant on the date. You just stop. You're like, <laughs> who knows? You're like, I don't know. That could be what it means. Some of my hobbies include. I have to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So like, yeah, I never oh. really got into the killers, but I. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> the killers were at the cellar recently. Did you? <gasps> oh yeah, I'd fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that one person show. That one person show. Yeah, yeah. Thanks everybody for listening to the podcast. We'll see you next week. Check out Blunts with the Boys this Friday. Yeah. yeah Dracula. Here's the scenario is Mike Feeney, Mike Cannon, and Brendan Sagalow. Executive producers Robert Kelly and Matt Kleinschmidt for the Laugh Button Podcast. For more information about the show, visit Here's the Scenario.com. Yeah.